I know a boy that was back in Israel, Lev Haron. I went to the dorms one more Tzai Shabbat. I think it was the second Shabbat of the season. Like one of these Shabbatots in the beginning of Elul. And I see a bunch of boys upstairs in one of the boys' rooms huddled around his bed. And they're cheering for him. They're all excited. I say, hey boys, what's going on? Shavuot Atov, how's everything? What happened? Everything is good? And they said, Rabbi, Charles just kept Shabbat. For the first time in his life. Charles is an 18-year-old boy that never kept Shabbat in his life. Not Lahachis, not to, but he never kept Shabbat, unfortunately. He just kept his first Shabbat. And you would think, oh wow, this guy was Mahalil. Shabbat. You know, from 13 to 18, five years times 50 Shabbatot, that's 250 karets. That's a lot. <laughs> Charles, you know, your life is pretty much over. I'm sorry, you know, you can be a good guy, you give sadaqah, do what you need to do, but at the end of the day, faham. What are you going to tell you? Look, you're mahal, so many Shabbats. Charles, not only did he keep that Shabbat, he kept the next week, he kept the week after. He became the king of Shabbat in the yeshiva. He would go around Erev Shabbat with his friend DT, David Tawel, going around and collecting the Miley's, jewels, smartphones from all the guys that there might be some type of distraction and a, and a weapon for the Yitzhara to use to get them to Mehadur Shabbat. They would go around Erev Shabbat collecting all of them from the guys and give it back on Mutzay Shabbat. He became the king of Shabbat. Him and his friend. They were lit. They were in love. They were addicted to Shabbat. He came back Shana Bet. Today, Charles is married. He's an Avrech learning Torah in Yerushalayim. He has a baby. And you think that Charles can't do Teshuvah? Oh, yeah, Habibi, he did Teshuvah. Oh, yeah, Habibi, he's doing Teshuvah big time. Just make a small move. He didn't have to think how he's going to get to where he is now, four or five years later. He had to think, one Shabbat I could do. One Shabbat I could do, I would do one Shabbat. We don't have to figure out how we're going to continue. We just have to figure out how we're going to start. To make that small move. And the rest, we leave up to Borei Olam. It's not up to you to finish. Just make a small move. And you should small at Borei Olam. But he's able to make from that small move. And the person that could evolve, develop from that small Kabbalah.